I'm cruising through the downtown of Vancouver, British Columbia, just a few blocks from the water. Now, the business people in this area are looking for a quick lunch. The great thing about this corner is they can get a quick lunch that's also fresh, local, and wild. Chef and owner Josh Wolf wouldn't really call this a street truck anyway. I call it a restaurant that just happens to have wheels on it. Because this place is a permanent fixture on downtown Vancouver's Moran and West Hastings. So how'd you pick this corner? For me, it was really important to be in a spot where people do lunch. So of course you gotta have the Canadian mashup poutine. How do you describe it here? Classic poutine, french fries, a beef gravy or brown gravy, and cheese curds. But this poutine is the fresh, local, wild way. We're not gonna use brown gravy. We're gonna make seafood gravy. Butter, we're gonna use a little bit of canola oil. We got our fat down, now we're gonna lay our base flavor layer down. Shallots, garlic, a little fennel, you okay with that? Ooh. Carrots, a little celery. Give them a little stir, we'll get them sweated down just a little bit. Now okay. we're gonna hit them with the love. This is gonna get ridiculous. I know, I know, I know, I know. Clams going down. Now we need a little liquid. Good old white wine. Bailey's, little aromatics. Black pepper, white pepper. Oh. Coriander seed, beautiful with shellfish. Fantastic. And uh, just to round it out, a little bit of fresh thyme. Yeah. We're going to seal the deal. Let them steam. Keep all the liquid in there. When okay. those clams start to open, we're going to throw down our mussels because we don't want to overcook anything. We're going to try and do it all right. Somebody has got to take all of his moves and put this to some disco music. He has got so much animation. I want to stay in alive. I want a little Bee Gees. We're gonna separate the liquid from the mussels and clams, and we're gonna chill those down so we can handle them. Now these are cooled down to where you can handle them. Look at that beautiful mussel. So clams and mussels, shells back in. Shells back in. Next up, now we need something to put all those beautiful shellfish into. So we're gonna talk chowder. So really, we are making a chowder. Now we are making it. It's gonna chowder. go over fries. Absolutely. That's bacon, that's okay, bacon. pork belly, nice. An equal part onion, we're gonna start those melting down. We're gonna throw in the same base flavors that we used. And we're gonna sweat all that up. So we're rendered down, we got enough fat in there. Now we'll add a little flour, build a roux. And then we're gonna just gonna stir it real good, make sure everything's coated. Just what are you throwing in next? A little more of that white wine. Okay. Limited moisture, maximum flavor. Oh, I'm gonna overeat, I can really tell. <laughs> a little heavy cream. So you got the nice richness of the heavy cream working with the roux, but it doesn't have to be all heavy cream if you have a nice roux in there. We're gonna use milk for the rest of that. So this is the liquor that we strained out from all the shells that we cooked. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, you did. All right, so we're gonna bring this up to a simmer. To serve this, we're gonna take our portion of gravy. We're gonna add those beautiful shellfish that we picked before. All right, fries down, and that gravy's nice and bubbly hot. We're gonna throw a little parsley to finish it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are stepping into the ridiculous zone. Look at the cascading deliciousness. Uh -huh. My friend, that looks dynamite. There you go. Now, how do you attack it? This is the first time I've ever had seafood fries, and incredibly well done. Here we go, guys. I got those poutines you're dying for.